welcome back to Fantastic Croatia for the second event of the 2018-52 Super Series. We've moved 60 kilometers up the coast from Šibenik as the Zadar Royal Cup attracted 11 teams all looking to lift the prestigious trophy. Practice has been good. Um, obviously there's a new event here in Zadar. It's already proving to be different to Šibenik. So Croatia's throwing plenty of uh, curveballs at us. After winning in Shibanik, Quantum Racing changed their afterguard to bring in owner Doug DeVos. Dean Barker moved to the role of strategist, a chance to embrace a new dynamic for the team who won there. On the South African flagged Phoenix, there was also a key change as Tina Plattner took over as driver. I'm a little bit excited, anxious a bit, but I'm sure the guys will look after me well, so no need to be too nervous out there. Zadar offered yet another chance to be enchanted by the beautiful scenery, a gateway to some of the most beautiful cruising grounds in Europe. And on the race courses where the TP52s raced for the first time, another new set of challenges. You know, it's a unique place to be because it's hard to be in the lead in this fleet for sure, but you know, we'll go out and do what we normally do. That's what, you know, all you can think about, just one race at a time and um, yeah, see how we go. Two races were sailed in light breezes on the first day. Luna Rossa established the early overall lead. The Italian America's Cup team won the first race and then followed Gladiator across the line for the second. Tony Langley's GBR team uh, taking a chance to bring on board a bunch of new sailors to the world's leading regatta circuit. On the second day, Tina Plattner won race three with the Phoenix, the first woman to steer to a race victory on the 52 Super Series. To be quite honest, for me it's going a lot better, it's really going a lot better than I expected it coming here, So, but I think we're taking it a day at a time, it's also with all the shifts out there, it, it makes it a bit easier even if you're not right up there from the word go, so I'll just, yeah, we're taking it a day at a time and obviously really happy with how it's been going so far. And that same day, a long, slow coastal race off Zadar in a fading breeze saw Sled win just as they had in the Shibanik. We tried to slow everyone down behind us as much as we could, coming into the top mark, and that gave us a little bit of a buffer. But it was a very, very challenging race. Platoon sailed particularly well, and uh, in the end, we only just won. Thursday was lost to thunderstorms and the notorious Bora with winds of 30 knots, but it was a chance for teams to catch up with the Football World Cup. Next day, Luna Rossa faltered with a pair of seventh places, while Phoenix posted a fourth and a first to lead into the final day. Uh, the first race, I think that was OK. We make a, a couple of mistakes, but this can happen was very shifty today. Tina has listened, paid attention, learned and is doing a fantastic job on the race course. We have a great team that's uh, behind her and, and just making this work. It's really good. But on Super Sunday, Phoenix's first race had too many early mistakes and it opened the door to Luna Rossa. While Luna Rossa lifted the Royal Cup, Phoenix took second on tiebreak from Sled. Thanks to all the designers, all the guys that are still in Cagliari, working hard, that give, uh, send to us a lot of messages. And uh, it's very important for a team like us that we are building. Uh, we are building our relationship, we are building our crew, our, our group that is becoming bigger and bigger. And uh, this result just uh, gives us uh, the power to go tomorrow in Cagliari and work uh, even harder if it's, uh, if it's possible. And the winners then are Luna Rossa on 32 points, Phoenix in second on 36 points, and third are Sled also on 36 points. After the two regattas in Croatia, Quantum Racing lead the circuit on 73 points, second are Sled on 77 points, and third are Platoon on 77 points.
Well, that's it from Zadar and from the beautiful Dalmatian coast. The 52 Super Series moves back to Portugal now, to Cascais and the open Atlantic. Big waves, big wins for the Rolex TP52 World Championships. We'll see you there.